Hey, Prospect family, Pastor Drew here. That's uh, my last day with you here for a little while on RTB 2021. Pastor Jay will take over tomorrow, and he'll be on the next week, and then Dr. Cribb will be back um, after uh, taking a couple weeks break from doing the videos. So hope you've been enjoying. I've enjoyed our week together uh, and RTB videos here. Um, exciting. Today uh, is February 7th. Great readings today. Before our, we kind of talk about, I'm just going to kind of camp out in Romans 10, one of my favorite uh, chapters in Scripture. I uh, just wanted to remind you, uh, if you're watching this before the evening service, um, we're bringing that back Sunday night, this tonight, 6 p.m. If you're watching this after, I hope you were able to join us. It'll be streamed online. But Intern Davis, our very own intern, will be uh, leading the teaching. Uh, we'll be going through the Book of Jude. So come ready at 6 o'clock in the sanctuary to be streamed online. Um, we're going to ask him questions when he's done. So kind of come ready. Maybe read ahead, read the Book of Jude, and kind of come ready with some questions. But just we're going to learn from our Intern Davis. It's going to be a great, uh, a great service. But uh, today, uh, some great readings today uh, for February 7th. Uh, Genesis chapter 40, um, we see Joseph interpreting uh, dreams uh, for these guys, and we see him like, hey, remember me when you go back to the cupbearer, like in the, you know, remember when you go back to Pharaoh, and, and uh, they end up forgetting about him, so um, just hang in there, I, I told you yesterday, and we've been talking about Joseph's story, bless his heart, like he just keeps getting knocked down, but he stays faithful, he stays true, he stays uh, obedient, so we see in Genesis 40, Joseph interpreting these dreams, God continuing to put him in position uh, to do things, but it looks like things aren't working out well for him, but again, I just want to remind you, hang in there with it. Uh, he has a really cool end to the story, um, this whole journey he's been on, so hang on. Job 6, we see Job and <clears throat> his friend Eliphaz kind of going back and forth and, and dialoguing with each other and trying to work through life and what's happening to Job and but Romans 10, I want to camp out in Romans 10 if I can. It's one of my favorite uh, chapters in Scripture, and it, it challenges me. And it, every time I read this, it just it, it, it lights a, a new fire under me um, to want to go out and tell people about Jesus. <clears throat> because we see in Romans 10, uh, the past few weeks on Wednesday nights, the men's group I had been uh, taking the guys through this thing called Disciple Cycle and teaching them how to make disciples and and last Wednesdays was sharing the gospel. What we did was we went through the Romans road of salvation and just we looked at Romans 3.23, you know, that says, For all sin and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 6.23, which says, uh, For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God and salvation in Christ Jesus. And so <clears throat> then we go to Romans 5.8, which says, God demonstrated his love for us that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And then we move to Romans 10, 9 and 10. So we, the, the Romans road finishes and camps out for a little bit in chapter 10 because chapter 10 is just this beautiful uh, answer. You know, it's this it's the cool culmination of a gospel presentation. You know, if you want to share the gospel with somebody, uh, it doesn't get much more simple than Romans 10, 9, and 10. It says, if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. In verse 10, one believes with the heart resulting in righteousness and one confesses with the mouth <clears throat> resulting in salvation. For the scripture says, everyone who believes on him will not be put to shame. And then in verse 13, for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. That's beautiful. That's such a great promise. It's such a great encouragement for us today. Um, <clears throat> as you look at Joseph's story, I keep thinking, I'm like, hang in there, Joe. Call on the name of the Lord. You'll be saved. You know, oh man, your story is pretty rough right now, but but you're not going to be put to shame. There's, there's something really cool waiting for Joseph. There's something really cool waiting for you. But, but it doesn't end there. Like <clears throat> Paul goes on to say in verse 14, this is where it gets important for you and for me as followers of Jesus. You know, if, if you're watching this video and you're a recipient of this grace, of this love, of this salvation that, that, that Scripture promises right here, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, believe in your heart, God raised from the dead. If you're sitting here watching this video as a saved person, uh, there's something we should do about that. Um, we shouldn't just keep that to ourselves and, and and hang on to that like it's like it's some special secret we have to keep. No, we should tell everybody we know about it. I want to challenge you if you're watching this video today. Um, I challenge the men 
uh, last night. <clears throat> well, you're watching this on a Sunday, but Wednesday night I challenged the men, you know, to think of five people they can care for, right? Just reach out and say, hey, I'm praying for you. You know, I know you're going through a tough time, but we care. Um, and then five they can share with, five to care for, or five to share the gospel with. And so uh, that's something you can do too, because um, Paul asked these pretty heavy questions, you know, pretty important questions that, that I would like us to think about today on this Lord's Day as we uh, worship together and hear great preaching from Dr. Cribb, um, great teaching from Davis Sunday night. Think about this. How then can they call on him they've not believed in? It's a logical question. But then Paul's like, how can they believe without hearing about him? And how can they hear without a preacher? How can they preach unless they're sent? As it's written, and this is one of my favorite verses. I love this verse. Every mission trip I go on, I think of these verses and and says, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. Isn't that beautiful? So listen, I want to challenge you <clears throat> to go out and be beautiful feeted people, right? Beautiful feeted people. I know that's weird grammar, but that's just what I'm going to say. Go out with your beautiful feet and tell somebody about Jesus. Think of five people you can care for. Reach out this week and say, hey, I care about you. I'm praying for you. I know you're going through a tough time. Uh, or sign up to be a driver and come out with us and deliver the donuts and, and make a connection with somebody that's been home because of COVID and, and, and care for somebody. But think of five people. Could you think of five people or even just one? Could, could you ask God to put one person on your heart? How then can they call on him they've not believed in? How can they believe without hearing about him? How can they hear without a preacher? How can they preach unless they're sent? Listen, if you're watching this video right now, guess what? You just got sent. You're sent. A saved person is a sent person. You should go out, tell as many people as you can about Jesus. They are waiting. We have been given this beautiful opportunity to go out and, and talk about the gospel and share the gospel with people. I love Romans 10. I'm so glad that but that was part of my uh, video time and, and uh, reading time this week because I just I love Romans 10. It's so beautiful. It challenges me. It convicts me. It pushes me so hard every time to get out of my comfort zone and to, to, to tell somebody about Jesus because how are they going to believe unless they haven't heard? How are they going to hear without a preacher? And how are they going to preach unless they're sent? You've been sent. I've been sent. Let's go out. Let's tell somebody about Jesus this week. Hey, thanks for hanging out this week with me on RTB 2021. Thanks, Dr. Cribb, for the opportunity to share. Uh, let me sit in this week in the RTB video chair. And uh, hope you have a great Lord's Day. Love you so much. Can't wait to see you. Pastor Jay's on tomorrow, so make sure you like and subscribe. And see you tomorrow. God bless y'all.